This one is one of my favorite examples to illustrate how when you have the same wireframe, you can still get very different shaped bubbles. Notice that for these bottom circles, I can take the pencil right through it, but for the top circles, the plates are entirely filled in. But now I'm gonna make the bubble in a different way. I'm gonna come along and I'm gonna squeeze, and then I'm gonna pull it out. And notice it's exactly the opposite. Now it's these plates that are full, and this is the one where I can take my pencil and stick it through. It's inverted which of these circles are the ones that are filled in, and which is the one that's got the hole. So you might think, okay, there's two circles, two possibilities. Let me show you a third possibility. I'm gonna squeeze everything together as I make this one. And when I pull it out, I get these two different discs, but I can pop them. I'm gonna pop this disc here, that lets me put my pencil through that way. I'm gonna pop this disc here, and it lets me pop it that way. Now I can go through both of the different discs, and look at that, there's this weird bubble that forms in the middle. So the same wireframe has now allowed three different stable solutions to be formed.